a little bit is our Swarovski moment, isn't it? It's our Swarovski moment. Swarovski, you were actually one of those patrons of the arts, which I don't want to sort of say. They have been for a long time yeah, as well. Important to yes. have that. Um, but let me, let, I don't want to preempt the conversation, so... No, you do, you do, you talk about it, your go. <laughs> I'm just not I'd shutting up to. here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, it's about birds. It's about birds, it's about slightly engineering nature and anatomy, mm -hmm. maybe. And this is an outfit Lee from... loved a redhead. He Did Lee love a redhead? That he loved a redhead. Did he? <laughs> he once said he used to say such politically incorrect things. He said, I love redheads, they're like albinos, they're really rare. <laughs> so, Lee, you can't say that. But he does. Like, yes, I can, yeah, because yeah. that's what... You know. yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, he did love a redhead. Yeah, well, this is something. Do you remember the twins in the Overlook? Yes, of course. Red-headed twins in the Overlook. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is a part of a... I think this is from a slightly later collection, which is... Um, I th I'm not right. In the, I'm, I think I'm right in saying it's from the shoot horses, don't they? It wasn't called that. Yeah, it was called Deliverance. Deliverance, right? Yeah. Um, Does it say, is it credited? In the dark type down here. Oh, okay. Deliverance, yes. Yeah. Which was another amazing show with Michael Clark. Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. I remember. Well, did you see the show? Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I didn't see the show. I, sadly, I saw the show, and it was another one that was very. It was difficult to watch. Yeah. And. You know, the glossy magazine press, the fashion press loved it because there were lots of very romantic pieces mm. that you could pull out of it. But basically, you know, it's particularly towards the end of the show, there were girls being dragged around that place by their hair. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't an easy no, image. No. And I spoke again to Karen Elson about this. And oh, she was incredible in who, that show. Yeah, who was, you know. <laughs> the was, show. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was one of those things. And you realise that, as we were saying, that these models just found such a release in working with him because he took them seriously. He didn't treat them like... No, he didn't, actually. That's really that. true. I think, I can't remember whether this is right or wrong, but my impression is that they weren't, they didn't do any other shows. That Karen hardly did any show that season other than... That the, might be right. I mean, I doubt if she could have done because it was so All elaborate. the rehearsals. Yeah. So, and then they, they would absolutely good themselves. They're very believable, those pictures. And interesting as well, because he had this thing early on where the hair and makeup was often, would often mask the girl. Mm. So, and he said quite aggressively to me early on, it, it's not about the girls, it's about me. Yeah. And that's why I do that. However, yeah. it's so about the girls, because at the same time, and it's another contradiction, the girls that he liked were mm. so full of character. Yeah. That's what he was interested in. He wasn't interested in, you know, homogeny, bland, easy, prettiness. He was interested in girls full of character. Yeah. And then expecting them to use their character, but somehow give their character up to his yeah. vision. Yeah. Because Karen's dancing in that. Unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, you had Michael Clark and some of Michael Clark's dancers helping them round. Yeah. Um, but her sort of, you know, performance there. It's incredible. And it could have gone so easily wrong because, well, you know, models dancing is not always... It's like models acting. It's exactly. not something that you normally think is going to be brilliant. Sometimes it is, but... It's yeah. something actually you've just reminded me, you've taken me back to one of your early images, which is Naomi dancing. Yeah. Because you obviously have, you know, you can bring that out in people too. But I, I had very similar, you mentioned the comment of Lee saying it's not about a model, it's about me. Yeah. I had a very similar feeling when I was started working. And I'm, the catalogue we were referring to, which is for Yoji Amoto, Naomi dancing in the red coat, um, you can't see her face. No. Um, and I remember I was photographed, and I, I just thought, these girls are here to wear the clothes. Yeah. And this is about actually Yoji Amoto, yeah. and, <clears throat> and I tried to create a vision of him. And I wasn't interested in, I, I was reacting so strongly against the 1970s version of the fashion photographer and the kind of Helmut Newton, yeah. Gilbert Dan, et cetera, where it's all about the photographer's relationship with the model. I really didn't want, I wanted that, the clothes and my relationship and with the clothes. And that's what Lee. And that was the reason. But then, of course, you realise that the people you're working with are amazing. Yeah, exactly. And you're not so clever for ignoring that exactly. or trying to work that. And they're actually they're more strong than we are because That's the they whole always point. put their character on it. And the, the shot a I good did model it, is a rare and incredible and fantastic. It's, thing. it's a super naive and arrogantly stupid position for me to hold, I think, because I was just. I wonder if he'd have ever said that. I don't. Well, but 
Um, but it, 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 Without you, the model, there is no picture. No, there's no picture at all. And I mean, no clothes, and no show, and no, yeah. And I remember with the Naomi catalogue for Yojo Moto, um, there was a shot I was doing from the waist down, so nobody could tell from the way my camera was angled that I was photographing from her waist down, and her head wasn't going to be in it. And so she was eating an apple, and she sort of, and she clamped the apple between her <laughs> knees. Because she knew. Because she knew that actually that would bring Brilliant. something of her into the picture, yeah. and I would have to deal with her as a person. And it's a great, great picture. It's a, I like the picture because it became the skirt's green, That's a great dark picture. green, and the legs are brown, and it looks like an apple tree. Yeah. All of a sudden, it doesn't look like a skirt Amazing. anymore. It became something else. So absolutely, the model brings so much to it. Yeah, but it, but it, it is, you know, it's a, a model with huge character, and it's the same here. Who will give themselves up somehow mm. to something else? And yeah. that must be quite rare. Yeah. That's not, it's certainly not easy. But from all of the interviews that I've done with models who work with Lee, there is this thing where they say, you know, it's, it's like a liberation. Yeah. Like somebody allows them to be the person they are. Walk up and down yeah. again for yeah. the hundredth time that yeah. day. But you imagine being a model in Voss. Like, I love yeah. the show Voss. I know. You know, where to start off with, you've got the whole of the fashion industry. Looking at themselves. Looking at themselves and end up looking at their feet and yeah. all sitting there with heads bowed. So you've got a front row sitting there with heads bowed like in sort of you know, honour to Lee waiting for the show. And when they start, the fashion industry then can look in and sort of see inside the house at night, so see inside yeah. the house. And it's the house is an asylum, it's yeah. a mental home. Um, <laughs> and I, you know, but being a, having that as your sort of, your stage. I know. To be able to, to improvise, to act, etc., etc. And they did it so beautifully, and there was no, never anything cringy, was there? No. Ever. No. However extreme, however, you know, much it required. I mean, when you think about it, a ring of fire, for example, fire yeah. coming up, um, it's it's quite carry on in a way, mm. but yeah. it never was like that. It was so powerful and yeah. so incredible because the girls did it so yeah. well, yeah. and because of Sam Gainsbury and you know the yeah. entire team yeah, yeah. working towards that big image. Yeah, you never thought, oh, this is embarrassing, and you know I often do. Mm. Oh, sure. Yeah. It, when the badly directed, it, it's cringeworthy. Yeah. Um, but I remember that you know, is it, I think it's Kate. Look, and of course Guido had banished all her hair. Yeah, heads. she's so beautiful in that show. And you know, sort of, and the banging of the, you know, sort of looking out into their own reflection. Staring, and I, re, I reprised that. It's not the right word, is it? I took that theme again with Gemma Ward. Um, and I don't actually remember, but at the old show studio, our hallway, you had to go through. Yeah, I do remember with, with the glass. Mirrors. Yeah. There's mirrors on floor, top of the ceiling. I remember asking Gemma Ward to look at her own reflection and bring everything out that she hated about herself looking at her own reflection. This is one of the most beautiful girls I've ever come across. And I wanted to, because obviously people don't feel that about themselves. Um, and I wanted her to sort of express. And she beat that mirror until her fist bled. Amazing. You know, which is the sort of thing where you give the models the chance to actually do something incredible, it becomes amazing. Yeah. So I think that's what... So people will go a long way. Yeah. And they did go a long way for Lee. Yeah. Anyway, so we should move on. Yeah.